Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer on this Thursday, the 13th of January 2022. Today we have been remembering Hilary, Bishop of Poitiers, Teacher of the Faith, who died this day in the year 367. Also Kentigern, Mungo, Bishop in Strathclyde and Cumbria. And George Fox, the founder of the Society of Friends, the Quakers, and it's his commemoration today of the year 1691. So let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep, your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm for this evening is number 16. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My fair share has fallen in a fair land, Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life in your presence is the fullness of joy and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short scripture reading is from Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your
wonder it is. Alleluia, Christ, the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, we give thanks for this day. We give thanks for all that it has been, for the places we have been to, and we pray for the people we have seen. And if we have seen no one today, we pray for those who have been on our hearts and minds. And we pray this night in particular for any known to us who are sick in body, mind or spirit, especially those who are isolating with COVID. And we pray for healing and restoration for those who are currently sick. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for places in the world where there is violence. We pray for people who have been fearful of bombs, destruction, war. And we pray for places in the world where there has been extreme poverty, where people are starving. In particular, we pray for Afghanistan for Syria, for Yemen, and South Sudan, and any places on our hearts and minds this evening. And we pray for places in the world where there is devastation of the natural environment, places affected by climate change, places where there is drought or fire, earthquake or any natural disaster. And we pray for people who are losing their homes and their livelihoods. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we are still in the first few weeks of January, in this new year, we give thanks for our lives, for those blessings that we know, for the things that we are looking forward to this year. And we give thanks for the people around us, our family, our friends and our neighbours. And we pray for our local community for places of worship here in Canterbury and for organisations and charities. Today especially we pray for Age UK, for the Umbrella Centre, Porchlight and Catching Lives and any other organisations that are dear to our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And we pray too for shopkeepers, for street cleaners, for bin collectors, those who serve our local community. We give thanks for their work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a few moments of silence, we call to mind any other prayers of our own. Everlasting God, whose servant Hilary steadfastly confessed your son Jesus Christ to be both human and divine, grant us his gentle courtesy to bring to all the message of redemption in the incarnate Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray in confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the living waters of Christ cleanse us, may the Spirit descend upon us, and may the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us this evening for Compline, and I hope you have a very pleasant and peaceful night, and please do join us again tomorrow morning at 9am for morning prayer. Goodbye. <laughs>